Okay, hey, we'll get you out of the rain, so we'll go to questions. Was it a good day? <laughs> I was trying to avoid just saying it was a good day because Gary gets mad at me for doing that. Um, no, I thought the guys had great energy today um, for Sunday practice and it was very competitive and uh, the defense at one point the starters put themselves back in when things weren't going the defense's way, so it was good to see, very spirited. What do you guys look for in those one-on-one -on -one drills with the linemen and the D-line? Yeah, just really about toughness and um, you know, just going kind of back to a uh, camp mode a little bit with some of our drills. Um, obviously, without having a game this week, so um, it was good to see, especially for some of the young guys too that hadn't done those. What did you see out of George Farmer today? Yeah, yeah, he's really had four good practices in a row, um, going back to the two that the first two that we had, and so it's great to see. We always talk about the you know the extra bowl practices are always good for some some of the younger players or the backups. So um, I thought. Uh, just like I said the other day, George Farmer did really well, and so did Victor. You wanted them doing the board drills today, right? That was her. Yeah, yeah, I just thought it was. Yeah. yeah, I just thought um, you know, go back to some toughness and um, get them on there. We actually put uh, at the end put all the positions on there. What made today the day that you decided to go out there was the fact that it is a Sunday and help keep them a little hyped, or was it just you know felt the pre bowl game or something else? As far as just the timing for why to bring that drill out today, oh, to I just raise the tempo a little bit. Yeah, no, no specific reason except for just to you know try to create some competitiveness instead of just going through the fourth practice in a row, just first and second down stuff. We've talked about how it's kind of a camp atmosphere. Is there anyone who missed camp that has benefited from this whole practice the most? Uh, well, I think we talked about George. You know, he missed a lot of camp with injuries, and um, now he's healthy and. It's, just, it's good to see the guys just fresh in general you know, after having some time off and um, the little nicks and you know guys being able to come out here and, and compete 100% with each other. Using the word compete a lot, are they picking up on the whole competitive aspect almost you know as much as you could possibly hope? Well, I think our, this is our first time of having bowl practice um, with these guys, you know, and so you got three classes that have never had had bowl practices, so. Um, we just wanted to make sure that we got back to that because that's hard to do in, in season with all the injuries and, and getting ready for the games. It's hard to do a lot of stuff versus each other because the offense and defenses usually don't match um, the opponent that you're playing. So uh, it was good to be able to do that. When you looked at the Notre Dame film, was there anything on that goal line stand that stuck out? Yeah, we didn't do very well. Um, <clears throat> boy, you're really taking me back there. Appreciate that, Scott. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't do very well. We didn't execute very well and, um, you know, got got out physical up front like they've done to pretty much everybody all year um, down there. They've really done it for two years. And then um, sometimes, you know, you gotta you got to throw the ball against the style that they play. And so when you throw it, you got to be able to make the play, you know, when the ball's there. Would you have changed a call uh, in retrospect or oh, something you yeah, wish? Anytime that, yeah, anytime something doesn't work, um, you'd always go back and change um, what happened. It seems like some people were saying at the time the fullback position hasn't been very reliable on receptions. Is that something? Well, he had made, he'd made a good catch earlier in the game mm -hmm. um, outside. And, uh, you know, so, you know, when you play a goal line that's committed to the run, um, you got to throw the ball at times. And obviously, um, you know, you get down there and you don't have a lot of receiver throws. A lot of things are going to be in tight in your goal line packages. We tried to throw it outside earlier than that. Um, two times got the pass interferences, and um, another time uh, when one of the runs was unsuccessful, we were supposed to throw it out there again, and uh, you know, that happens sometimes with a young quarterback. Have you interviewed anyone yet for defensive coordinator? No. Okay, are you going to do anything before the Sun Bowl on that? No. What about deciding uh, if you'll add any offensive assistance? No, we can't. No matter what. So you won't have an offensive, a different offensive coordinator next season? No. All right. Thanks.